It's a heavyweight showdown between the Pitbull Andre Arlovsky and Junior Dos Santos. All right, here he is, the former UFC champion and arguably the nicest guy in the sport. He is Junior Dos Santos, another one of these young fathers, DC, who has really been buoyed and motivated by having children in his day-to-day. -day. He's very nice, but he's also very deadly. He, he has massive power in his hands, and he's got a great ability to hide all of his strikes. He does a fantastic job of feigning with the front shoulder to draw out his opponent's reactions, and then he follows with that massive right hand that we saw finish Frank Mir, also the massive uppercut that finished Fabricio Verdun, and the overhand right of Cain Velasquez. At the end of the day, it's the right hand that holds the key to Junior Dos Santos' victory. And perhaps no heavyweight has responded to adversity better than JDS. He has never lost back-to-back -back fights in his mixed martial arts career. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land. Is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Dos Santos is 36. Arlovsky is 41. The rest of the numbers are effectively identical. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting and out of the blue corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 21 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 238 pounds. Fighting out of Salvador, Bahia, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Junior Cicada! now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 29 wins, 19 losses, and two no contests. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Andre the Pitbull. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. All right, so we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring beginning in the octagon tonight. High kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Back and forth we go. Damaging punch there. Big kick. So 
So just over 20 total strikes have now connected for the heavyweight Andre Arlovsky. And he landed the right hand there. Doubling up on the jab. And they separate. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Way to hide that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Another kick to the leg now landed by Arlovsky. Oh, nice right in. Wow, massive uppercut. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. And it all oh, is a big takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Back and forth we go here. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Beautiful kick. Arlovsky gets hit with that hook shot there. He's got to be careful to not allow the offense to follow up here. Picks it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Horn sack for the end of round one. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where the opponent is going to be. Oh, big time. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Goes down again! here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, these numbers are official, but they are strong. 73 total strikes that have landed now for Andre Olovsky. And connecting with 48% accuracy against JDS. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Now the guy's got...
right, so he postures up. Nicely done. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. All right, next round is now underway. DC, yeah, any right. major takeaways right. after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very even. That'll do it! Oh, my goodness! Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a huge win by TKO for him here tonight. A seminal moment in his UFC career, and that could hold up as one of the better TKOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called to stop this contest at three seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Andrea the Pitbull Olesky. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need their scorecards. Tonight. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may. Because <laughs> this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, what is found the follow-up shot, and he got the finish. Day for weeks. I go home and purchase some things that I know will not fill my needs. Have a dose of what I've achieved and get lonesome.